Eileen, you're not a typical Greek to look at, but your art shows that you have a lot of Greek inside you. How is this difference compounded? It's because I was born in Greece and spent all my childhood years in Athens and Syros. My father's American and my mother's half Greek, so therefore my genes are not so Greek, but I feel Greek enough. So in other words, you acquired more original Greek genes. Yes, especially when I lived on the island of Syros for four years. When did you realize that you couldn't become anything else other than an artist? I don't think I ever had any choice. My mother's an artist. Is your mother classical or abstract? I don't think I can answer that question. Her background was classical, but her artistic reactions were different, more abstract. Thus it creates a bit of a dilemma. Yes, it now uses a digital method. We both developed at the same time. Of course, because I'm of a different generation, I started to use it long before. But I think in her case, she enjoys developing, to develop the same way that all things in the world evolve. The fact that it develops, improves it. That's a good question. It depends which direction it develops in, and what its base is before it develops. For my job to be self-improving, I think that happens spontaneously, continually, in any case. Up to now we've been speaking about the means, the course and the way. Would you like to talk about what you feel inside yourself? What would you like to say? Essentially, I've noticed that my work is very spontaneous. Usually my ideas come to mind quickly. The application of these ideas takes longer, of course, but what I derive from my work is more instinctive and too difficult to explain. Is it difficult because it's intricate or just too complex for us to understand? I think it's because there aren't the words to explain some things, many things we feel. If a person appreciates my work, that's enough for me. Sometimes it can't be explained. That creators like you don't need words, they make art. You create and somebody else watches. So you're trying to tell me that you'll be satisfied if that person understands what you are saying. Feels it, not necessarily understands it. No, never. I think that with every creative piece, nobody feels the same. In any case, that's not the idea. How he will feel depends after all on what kind of a person he is. Do you want to state something which you have established? Or do you want to discuss it with the people first? I believe that there are always questions to be asked and reasons for discussion. I won't arrive at a stage where I query a point of which I've already arrived at the conclusion. I think that there will always be questions to be asked in my work and I don't really think it's because I'm at that point of my life where I'm still young. Do you ask in order to become more involved, awaiting answers, or are you really not interested in the answer? Essentially, I don't think there is either a right or a wrong answer. Do you want answers or do you make the questions hard to understand, problematic? I don't really know if it's a question. It's more an emotional phrase. It becomes a question from the minute that the viewer starts to wonder about it. Then I think it's a question. For me, essentially, it's an emotional phrase. When I saw you, I was surprised. The reason being the difference in age, from the image you transmit, which shows a maturity and seriousness. If such a young lady as yourself has such maturity, what can the next stage be? 
I think the course an artist can follow is never ending. I don't think you can ever come to the stage where you feel you've no more to give and no other road to follow. It's just a feeling you have to go forward and to create. Not necessarily having deadlines to meet up with at a certain time of one's life. For me it's just simply going forward with my life. I go onwards researching all the time. I don't feel as if I've come full circle or started a new circle even. Essentially, if I could in a way draw it, it would be a circle, a spiral, but not one which concentrates in the centre or one which spirals outwards, but is something like a circle which merges into another circle, small, small circles all connected to one another. What a great answer! I heard you say that you want to go forward. In so doing, would you like to be holding a flag? A flag? Belonging to which country? What I've noticed in my work and what I'm creating at the moment is communication. If I need a flag, it'll be this one. For there to be spontaneous intercourse between the art and the spectator. It's very important, not as concrete information, but I believe that we're all evolving, as I am myself, both at work and in my life generally. I always have something more to say. Did you get involved with the Olympic idea because it was the fashion at the time, or because you searched and found it in your soul? During that time I was working on my Masters in Stage Design. My Masters degree was more public art because the understanding I had with my tutors was such that if you had a performer and a spectator, then it's as if you have a theatre set up. The Olympic Games were on their way. I started my Masters in 2000 until 2002. It was very important for me to find an event with which I could apply my work in a public place. So I was always thinking of big projects, believing that if you aim for this, you will at least arrive somewhere in the middle. If your aim is low, however, I believe you'll stay at the same level. Do you know that an artist who doesn't know how to mix colours is bound? I've thought of that, so I try to use technology as a tool, but then to diversify. Of course this material is digital, which has taxed me, but in the world we live it's the most natural course, that which we hold, endure and learn from. In my mind, this has caused me problems as to how at this minute my work is all abstract. In other words, their ideas shape from digital forms, so it's abstract, not handmade. I like that. I don't think it's bad. It's immaterial. It's absolutely unimportant. My name also. This said it's derived from the flute. I don't think it's true, but I like the idea. Are you roots from yesterday or tomorrow? From today. Today doesn't exist. Suppose today is? My expression is very. Dream. Your dream. My dream. My dream. Motherhood would be a breath of life. Yes, I believe as a woman, it would be. No, I don't think that they both go together. Isn't motherhood an action of the highest art? That is, to create another human being. That's what my mother said, as she told me that she was studying when she was pregnant, trying to create the perfect artwork. But, when she gave birth to us, she felt she'd achieved that perfect work. That was the most perfect project. There's nothing better. Do you communicate with yourself? All the time, continually. Do you and yourself get on? Yes, fine. 
is Eileen the easiest with you or your alter ego? If it was easy, it would be boring. In other words, the problem, the difficulty, is a creative source for you. Yes, it is. In my work, I have a lot of feeling and impulsiveness. So whenever I have personal problems, it's immediately reflected in my work. Not that I think it's necessarily therapeutic, but it so happens that my most creative works have been made during the times of my life when I've been going through difficulties on a personal level. You used a descriptive word there, the word therapy. When you're creating, do you receive therapy or give it? I would like to give therapy as that's the purpose of my work. I work in public places with the internet and external places and so I've been told that my work has influenced many people. Isn't that a satisfying feeling? Yes, it is. But everything has a responsibility. I look at my life with calmness. In other words, I'd like to have a calmness in my life. Is calmness a good thing? The calmness that comes when you've created that kind of calmness. For me, calmness is when you have the strength to express. You aren't a person who attracts calmness. You're controversial. You may be laughing, but I don't think you would have any difficulty fighting for what you want. What do you say? As long as you have the need for clashes, controversy, to question things, so one has the need for calmness. It's very important to express oneself, for it to be my life, nothing else.